in this video i'll discuss about uh, little more little more about uh, linear regressions i missed out two things uh, in the uh, in the first uh, video on linear regression one thing is uh, about goodness of the fit uh, of the model and the second thing is uh, uh, whether the uh, coefficient that we determined uh, slope coefficient and the uh, intercept uh, are significant or not so uh, i'll first talk about what is goodness of it and then what is uh, significance okay uh, goodness of it uh, you know tells you whether your model is good or not well we have built a model but whether the model is a good model or not and how good uh, is the model so um, we can we can uh, you know we can only quantify it by looking at the uh, goodness of its statistic so uh, the goodness of its statistic is measured by uh, r square uh, so r square is something uh, that says that whether the model is good and how good is the model so uh, r square lies between 0 and 1 so 0 is the uh, worst model or it's a very bad model 1 is the best model okay but uh, you know usually we find that r square lies between 0 and 1 uh, so uh, uh, you know in rare cases you will find it to be very 0 or find it to be uh, 1 you know 1 like it's a perfect model uh, and 0 uh, like it, it, it's a completely uh, uh, you know imperfect model or it's not a model that explains anything about the data so I ask for in our case is 58 percent so if you can build the model in such a way that the R square become 70 percent or 0.7 you know that becomes a better model so you compare model by looking at the R square if, if you can improve the model uh, performance or if you can improve the uh, R square value uh, by uh, doing something about the model then you achieve better success and we can of course do it when we do the um, hands-on exercises we'll see how we can increase the R square by doing a little bit of things around uh, the uh, data um, so uh, this is how we interpret R square then the other thing that we'll be uh, talking about is the uh, significance testing so uh, we have uh, the coefficients in place intercept and uh, uh, slope coefficients whether the values are significant or not so uh, what is significance significance is nothing but whether they are statistically uh, no the values are statistically making any sense or not whether they are different from zero essentially in this particular context whether they are different from zero or not so um, we do it by uh, a method called uh, significance uh, testing or hypothesis testing uh, and uh, the uh, rule of thumb is that the t statistic has to be uh, greater than 1.64 uh, uh, you know in, in that case only we can say that the coefficient is significant okay and uh, that is at a 95 percent confidence level okay so what is 95 percent coefficient level we'll talk it later so uh, but just you know just remember at this moment that at 95 percent confidence level confidence level means you try it 100 times will be right 95% of the times so at 95% confidence level we are you are confident about the value of the coefficient 95% uh, of the time okay 5% of the time we may go wrong so that's what it means so at 95% confidence level the t statistic has to be greater than 1.64 or greater than 1.65 so that you know uh, the uh, um, uh, you know we can say that the coefficient is significant so what does that mean that means it can be interpreted or the coefficient uh, you know we can use that coefficient in the model so what if the t statistic is less than 1.64 then our coefficient is nothing but zero it's equivalent to zero okay so at this moment uh, you know if if, if you're not aware of hypothesis testing testing you should remember that if it is greater than like 1.64 at 95% uh, confidence level, you can accept the coefficient, whatever we have got from the estimation. 
okay else we can consider it as zero we need not have to include this in the model similarly for the uh, you know the uh, slope coefficient if the d statistic is greater than 1.64 then only we, we can take this otherwise we cannot take this is just equal to zero it makes no sense we cannot have uh, this coefficient in the model at the first place so um, that's about it detail of course we'll get to know uh, only by uh, uh, you know reading uh, the hypothesis testing theory okay and uh, that is covered in a separate video uh, i'll stop here about the significance testing uh, <clears throat> then uh, i'll cover the r square part in detail hypothesis testing of course is covered in detail in the hypothesis testing video so <clears throat> Okay, so uh, uh, in in regressions, uh, as uh, as I have already mentioned in my previous video uh, on linear regression, that uh, we we have this error, right? Population error. Okay, so error is nothing but the distance between the regression line and the actual point, right? So that is the error. So the total variation in the data set is explained, or total variation. In the data set, which which is due to the error, uh, is explained uh, or is a, is is a summation of two different type of errors. One can be explained, the other cannot be explained. Okay, so uh, so uh, uh, you know, in short, we say that total sum of uh, square or total sum of uh, square of the error is nothing but error sum of square and this regression sum of square so sst stand for total sum of square sse stand for error sum of square ssr stand for regression sum of square and you have the formula below that how to compute it so sse is something that cannot be explained whereas ssr can be explained in some way okay so how, what does that really mean well <coughs> The estimation procedure, which is considered to be uh, lying on the mean, uh, the, uh, the regression line, and the distance between the uh, regression line and the mean uh, line, mean, mean of uh, dependent variable, is something that is well explained. You can directly explain. But from the, the distance between the actual data and the estimated data is something that is unexplained. You cannot explain it in the sense that we don't know what really causes it. It could be any random event that is causing it. Okay. So, uh, so total error is, is a summation of these two errors. It, it's a bit confusing at this moment, but not to be confused because you know, our intention of course here is to learn R square and we will we'll derive R square formula from these, uh, you know, from these equations. Okay, or from uh, you know this concept. So uh, just be familiar with uh, this uh, you know the terminology SST, SSE, and SSR at this point. You know all you need to know is that you know the total sum of square of the error is explained by two type of error. One is the uh, error sum of square. The other one is the residual sum of square. Residual sum of square can be explained because you know you have the mean line and you have the regression line, and you can easily explain why the difference is. But the error sum of square cannot be explained because the data's points are random and we'll see that uh, we'll, we'll see that uh, uh, in the graph i guess uh, so uh, you know as you can see on the slide <coughs> the sst is the measure of the variation of the y values around that uh, you know mean and then error sum of square is the variation attributed to factors other than the relationship between x and y. So x1, y uh, relationship has nothing to do with the error sum of square. That is a completely random. Whereas SSR, the regression sum of square, is attributed to the relationship between x and y. So using that relationship, you can explain it. Because you know, the mean value is, it's, is already there. The mean of y is already there. So the relationship between x and y can well be explained by SSR. So uh, let's see it in the graph. So this is the mean line, okay, y bar, and uh, the this one is the estimated regression line. So this difference can be explained, okay. So this is the regression sum of square because 
this is an estimated one and this is a deterministic line which you can determine by taking the mean of the uh, population uh, data set okay because if you have the y value you can always compute it okay um, <coughs> Uh, and uh, the error sum of square uh, is something that is uh, unexplainable. Okay, so the difference between the regression line and this one, uh, we don't know what really causes it because one point is this. So this is the SSE for this point. You can have another uh, point here, somewhere here. There will be another SSR. Sorry, sorry, I am confusing SSE. Yeah. So another error point here. So it could be very random, and we don't know what causes this. Or, uh, you know what is responsible for this random error so it's something that is not explaining okay so the total error so the total error is sum of your uh, SSR and the SSE this is the total error this black line okay so mean is something uh, you know we expect it to be you know this is expected value of y so what is expected value of y is is nothing but its mean right when we say what am I expecting, it, it means that uh, we, we just want to know what is the average value of that particular uh, you know, data. Right? So average value of y is nothing but y bar. Okay. And what we are getting? We are getting y hat. y hat is something that is estimated from the regression line. And what is actually the data point? The data point is nothing but y, uh, you know, y i. This is the one. So the total error is nothing but y, we are expecting y bar, but we are getting y uh, uh, hat in the regression equation and y i uh, in the actual data point. So actual data point minus your y bar is the total error. Okay. And y hat minus y bar is the explained error or the regression sum of square error. And y hat minus y i is the error sum of square error, uh, error sum of square. Uh, which something which is something uh, not explainable. Not to be confused, uh, uh, you know, when you learn it for the first time, it's a bit confusing. But uh, you learn it a couple of times, you will be uh, okay with it. So, what is coefficient of determination? Well, we uh, can compute coefficient of determination by uh, uh, you know uh, using uh, the regression sum of square and the total sum of square. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> so the definition of coefficient of determination, well, R square is also known as coefficient of determination. I didn't tell you that. So, coefficient of determination is nothing but R square. So, uh, coefficient of determination is the portion of the total variation in the dependent variable, which can be explained by the variation in the independent variable. That means, how much variability in the dependent variable is being uh, explained by the independent variable. Okay, if the R square is more, more variation is being explained. That means independent variable is helping us to explain the variation in the dependent variable. If R square is less, then independent variable is not helping us. Okay, it, it's not very uh, you know related to the dependent variable. It's not helping us much explain. Okay, R square lies between zero to one, as I said. And it, it is not, uh, it is never uh, negative because it's a square of a term, so it can never be negative. Okay, uh, you know, sometimes you get a negative value uh, in, in your, uh, you know, so, sometimes the software gives you negative value, then there is something wrong in the in the data set. You know, you, you probably have, uh, you know, too many missing value or something like that. Okay, so it always lies between, uh, it always lies between uh, zero uh, and one. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> if it is as close to one, then we, we uh, have a good model. Well, <clears throat> so when we get uh, a square of one, so the you know you can look at the examples where you know the uh, uh, data points lie on the regression line. So none of the data points are actually here and there or distributed randomly. Okay, but this is you know this is a very uh, special occasion. Uh, in real scenarios, you will never have such a uh, you know you, you will never have uh, you know such type of data set. Uh, if you ever have a data set also, there is no point in doing a regression because uh, you know uh, because it's a direct explanations. Okay, 
So the, you need not have to build a model for that. Similarly, in the second uh, graph also you can see the R square is 1 because all the data points are lying on the uh, regression line. Uh, so 100% of the variation uh, in this case is being explained by uh, X. Okay, if you know X, you will be able to know Y for sure. Okay, so in this model it's very much possible. But in the house mo house price model that we uh, uh, you know uh, saw in the beginning, there it's not possible. Like if you know the area of the house, you cannot predict what is the price of the house accurately. You may be very close to it. But it, it's difficult to uh, predict very accurately. But if the R square is more and more, your uh, level of accuracy will be better. So that's about R square.